Yo, what's up guys? It's the Elephant, and in this video, I'm going to be joining the GT Series Quals 2 event. This is my hand. It's not great, but it's decent. Honda NSX at 111, 111 Nissan GTR, a 122 GTR Track Edition, 233 Lancer Evo, and a 233 Subaru Impreza. So really, I just want the token, but if I could somehow pull a carbon fiber off with this hand, I'll be shocked, but I'll be happy. So let's see what we can do here. Because there is all this rain and stuff, but should be able to handle the rain with my rain cars. Then we can use you there, you there, and you there. And this will be one win down. Then I'll do four more and we'll see where we end up. So 50 points right there, 263 to zero. Not bad. Do I have any good four wheel drive standard tire cars? Actually, let's see. Four wheel drive standard. I could run a CX-30, but we got car park, karting, karting, lumber mill, twisty. I just don't know that CX-30 would be better than one of these. That's the thing, so we'll have to see. Maybe someone is conveniently running a maxed out CX-30. See, this guy's hand isn't too bad. That is, I guess it is the R390 GT1 road car. I was about to say, that looks like a pretty motorsport car to me, but nope. All right, so we'll see. If the Honda Legend beats my Subaru Impreza, then we'll switch it out. Um, so then we got some drags. So I guess we'll just go with that. That's where all my fast zero to 60 cars and no MRA cars go. So that's 85 points right there from the NSX. Then we got a win, most likely here. Yep, we do, good. That's got, yeah, that car gets a lot of races. So I won't mind maxing out my second one for the Hyundai Ionic N, because I will have to max out a second one. 97 points here against the R33. Now let's see here, how well does the Subi compare to the Honda Legend? Even though this isn't as twisty of a track, but I mean, the Legend's keeping up. Okay, we're still, Still leading though. We are still, and it's a significant lead too, that's the thing. So yeah, we're good, 50 points right there. And then right here, the GTR beats the RX-7 with another point range in the 90s. So two and zero oh now, we are in the top 10. So maybe we got a bugged bracket, except I just joined, so I doubt it's bugged. 29 though, out of 300 people. Travis has 13 wins. I feel like I've seen Travis's name before too. So that guy we can beat, that guy we can also beat, this guy we can beat, and this guy we can beat. But I need fuse material, so who's the most likely to give me the most? Probably this guy. Only sketchy one would be that, but we can go there, 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 and there. Now, hopefully I can beat the R390 GT, whatever it's called, road car. So let's see, if not, maybe we'll get enough bonus points against the Subaru. We cannot beat the R390 GT1 road car. That is unfortunate. But then here we will win. They actually maxed out the Impreza WRX STI, that's interesting. And then here we'll win, 50 points, very cool. And then this last race, maybe we can get 150 bonus points? No, we get 83. Nissan GTR does not have MRA like that. So into eighth place now, come on, give me some of those rares. I need them to max out the 50 billion super rares I need to max out for the Hyundai Ionic N and then also for Cutting Edge, please. Yeah, there we go. There's some nice fuse, the Mercury Capri. One, one fuse. Okay, now this guy, I should be able to three star. I won't be able to put the cars in the spots I want to put them, but we should be able to most likely three star him because that goes there, there, and there. As long as my GTR doesn't lose to Lancer Evo 4. The Lancer Evo 4 did get some MRA and I will be very surprised if my GTR loses to it. So we win here against the Evo 8. Then here against the Evo 4. Yeah, we, we beat the Evo 4. The Evo 4 did stay pretty close behind though. And then right here, oh nice, we lost the Evo 10. 
That's because it's a 323 spec. Okay, well, 4 0 now. Come on, give me that rare. We got two commons. I don't need commons. I'm pretty sure I don't need uncommons either. So let's get rid of all those. I am just in the super rare maxing phase. All right, carding circuit. Here we go. This is a good comparison. Does the Evo also have traction control and ABS? It's missing traction control. So the Subaru is better for that. That'll be better there. And we got win, win, and win. So now let's see. This is the comparison we kind of wanted before with the Honda Legend and the um, Mitsubishi, not the Mitsubishi Lancer. The Lancer doesn't have traction control. And the Subaru Impreza on a twistier wet track. So this will determine if I should really switch to the CX-30 or not. Because the CX-30 should beat the Honda Legend on the karting circuit. But can the Honda Legend beat the Subaru? It cannot. So I think the Subaru is the best option. Because it'll also win the Lover Mill Twisty. So I think that's probably good. Come on, the rare, please. There we go. That's nice. There's one more fuse material car to add. So then... Yeah, I've got these two fusing right now, the TMR and the Colt Rally Art version R. Then I've also gotten the fuse completed. I've got the Elantra and I gotta max out the GTO, which I hopefully won't need to max out completely. I20N, Eclipse GT, I also need to put a more upgrades in the BX4TC. And then, yeah, I think that's it. Um, let me see. I'm giving you guys kind of the sneak peek to the upcoming video where hopefully I'll be winning the i20N. I most likely should, because I've got some good stuff. I've got the Evo 10 and the Evo 9, and then those two Evos, and the Evo 4. That's my winning hand. Actually, let's sort it by road, too. Where's that road tag? Uh, probably in collections and tags, honestly. Road. There we go. And then we'll also do non-prize cars to get rid of my one Evo that I sadly can't use. Would have appreciated to use it. Um, so yeah, I've got... Where's my other... There's something else. Yeah, this guy. The Genesis Coupe. Just need to finish maxing out this one. And I guess we can drop one more upgrade into it. There we go. So now I just need to put the final two upgrades into it. And then that'll be maxed out. And I need to drop the final fuse into that one. So, a lot of upgrading is occurring. And it's all on the performance tire cars. All the performance tire cars are getting upgraded because they gave us no off-road and no rain pretty much like i guess this one would be useful for some of the standard tire rain but i believe i could probably just skirt on by with like my hyundai kona or something even though it's more rq and like all this lower rq stuff i didn't even need to max out either i had to max out two cars mitsubishi starion which is a good max out and then my mitsubishi outlander which i already had halfway maxed out so yeah that video will be exciting soon Hopefully we can get a nice carbon fiber here, because that would also be nice. Give me some good luck. Um, drop rates, they aren't adjusted, so we'll have to see. Maybe I can get a nice epic, though. Maybe something that will require me to not need to put fuses into so many legendaries. So that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this type of content, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell. Join the Discord, link in the description. I'm Yelfin, and goodbye.